Well, we begin tonight at the Puya Memorial Marae in Mangere Bridge, where a meeting of social services will begin in just under an hour to discuss the housing crisis. 43 families are staying at the Marae in Mangere Bridge, which still has a waiting list of people needing accommodation. Chairman Huri Moana Dennis is calling for a permanent fa facility to be set up in Auckland, possibly staffed by the armed services, to provide temporary help to the homeless. Mr Dennis told a press conference this afternoon a 16-day-old baby and her parents have found a new home after more than 100 people in the community offered up spare rooms. Uh, where they were, it, it, was, it was temporary everywhere. Housing, uh, they were living in a tent. Um, they had some difficulties, uh, you know, paying their bills. The car got repossessed. Um, so where they were was probably no better than where they ended up until uh, you know they've arrived here at Tapuia. Um, you know, and as soon as we uh, saw them, and that it was automatic for us in terms of what needed to happen. Those families who have arrived, they're very, very grateful. Um, we don't judge them when they come here. We do the best we can to to house them, um, but also tidy up any any. Uh, loose ends, if you like, in terms of their allowances, their benefits, because for us it's not just about um, dumping them somewhere, taking them out of one puddle and putting them into another. Uh, we're being very careful about how we uh, uh, marry, if you like, our, our, our whānau with those who are, who are wanting to help. Uh, we're also making sure that as best we can, um, you know, the allowances and their, their incomes are sort of updated, if that's the word so that they can get on with what needs to happen. The words that keep coming up, overcrowding, eviction, and, and uh, no money or poverty. Uh, these three words just keep coming up in, in all of the um, uh, conversations that I've had with clients. So, you know, if, if agencies were, were keen to get themselves past crisis point and into manageable mode, then there needs to be some urgent consideration for a facility somewhere in Auckland whereby people, families that are coming to Algate can go to where they're respected, their privacy is respected, but where they know they can at least, um, and them and their families can get um, some sort of lodgings so that nobody's stressed. No one's, you know, we have some families who are trying to keep, you would never know some of them in the community. These people are taking their kids to school. Uh, pick their kids up and after four o'clock they go into crisis mode. Where, where are we sleeping? Where, where, where is it going? Um, you know, we've got one family who, who had been in their van for four months. Um, but you know, they're, they're good people, they're decent people, they still take their kids to school. Uh, but ha how does a parent do homework for kids when there's six kids in the van? You know, that's, that's ridiculous. And these are the sorts of stories that we're, we're starting to unfold. We've, we've, we've got a, a, a limit here in what we can do to 30 bodies or people here on our marae where we can cope and got capacity. So we're now getting a, a list of people who, who want to come. So, you know, we're, we're almost becoming a bit of a funnel point for that sort of stuff as well. So we'll do the best we can to help who we've got now. We're going we're gonna to deal with who we've got now. Once we be, get below our line, uh, we'll start taking on some more people. But agencies really, really need to use this opportunity to lift the situation out of crisis mode. Somebody said to me, Hudi, this is not a crisis. It's a crisis when agencies and mandated agencies and social workers are dropping their kids off at our front door. No one can tell, if, if that's not a crisis, well, you know, w w what is? 